Hi, this is Sam with Getting Finances Done, and today in this screencast, I'm, I'm going to show you how to download or rather import transactions from your bank account into You Need a Budget. And I've already gone to my bank account and downloaded the file from there. And uh, before we import it, let me just point out really quick I already have a couple transactions in here. Uh, one of them I've already categori categorized, the other I haven't. And we're going to show you how uh, You Need a Budget deals with these different types of transactions. So to import the file that I've downloaded from my bank, I'm going to click on File. File, Import Transactions. And then it's going to give me a little notice saying here are the correct files to download. It is important to note that sometimes your bank won't say it's an OFX or QFX file. It'll just say a Quicken file or a money file. And if that's the case, then, then you've got the right type of file and you're, you're good. So I've already downloaded that. Let's choose the file to import. I place it on my desktop here. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. And it asks you which account you want to import the transactions to. In this case, they're checking account transactions. It's not savings or investment accounts. And you can preview the import. Now, I would recommend doing this because you want to see if everything looks OK. Like the pay, is that showing up OK? It looks fine. We have LO Bean, Bajos. That's fine. How about the memo? The memo just echoes the payee in this instance. You can choose to switch the payee in the memo if it looks like you need to do that. But I would definitely do this, especially the first few times you import, just to double check and make sure everything looks good. And everything looks good for me, so I'm going to go ahead and import. It says everything was successful. Three transactions were imported. Uh, two of the transactions were matched with previous transactions, and then one of them wasn't. So let's close this and look. Well, here we see examples of the matched uh, transactions. They have this dotted line in between them. On the top, we see the transaction that I had entered in uh, by hand. And then on the bottom, we see the transaction from the bank. And so we can go through and see if this looks right. Now, if I decide everything looks good and that it, it accurately matched the uh, transaction, then I can just go ahead and accept it. Now, here this little uh, exclamation point sign will show me what my options are and I can approve or disapprove whatever um, and actually if I double click on the transaction it'll give me some other options over here so I can approve and find the next transaction that I need to approve or just approve it and, and stay on the same in the same place in this case uh, everything looks good I'm gonna approve and find next now notice what it did. It actually took the information that I had entered in manually, and it took that as the priority, and uh, and just you know pushed in the other bank account transaction I downloaded into this transaction. Now the other thing it did is it put a C here, which means this transaction was cleared through my bank, and that's a very important. And I'll point out why in just a moment. Now the next transaction I, I never categorized, so I'm going to do that now, and you will want to make sure you categorize everything. It's a personal gift for my wife, and that's fine. And so I'm going to go ahead, and uh, everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and approve it. And so that one's done. And you'll notice that these little signs are disappearing. Now there's one last transaction. This is one I didn't enter. And this is what I mostly see, quite honestly, when I do my budget. Um, because I usually don't go through and enter them during the month. I'll just download them all at the end of the month. Uh, and so I'll commonly see this. And uh, I see it's, it's for O'Reilly. And I'm going to put uh, books for school. And here, let's go O'Reilly as a pay, because I'd rather have something readable show up than some sort of long explanation. And then down here, we'll go ahead and categorize it as school. And the amount's there. And I'm fine. I'm going to approve and find next. And we're done. There aren't any other categories to approve. Now, um, I, as I said, I usually don't have to match up. Although I will say this, that sometimes I schedule transactions. So I my automated transactions, I have it scheduled so that it will show up in my register um, automatically. And then those transactions are matched up at the end of the month when I download from my bank account. So I do see both um, scenarios in both uh, situations. So that's how you download or rather import transactions from your bank account file and match them up. It's a pretty simple process. So thanks, and until next time, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.